what's up you guys welcome back to my channel oh my god i'm barely posting my mother's day freaking order but you guys i have had such a busy month this month it's like uh, <laughs> ridiculous okay so sorry for the late video but it's better late than never okay so you guys i am so excited to show you guys how i made this dozen i absolutely love my mother's day dozen this year it is just so cute and different from what I've done previous years. You guys, so one of the questions that I'm always getting in all my videos is how do you guys wash your berries? Okay, well, I'm showing you guys in this video. It's basically, I use a veggie wash from Trader Joe's and I let my berries soak in it for about five minutes and then I'll like take them out, you know, rinse them out again and um, dry them very, very carefully. I think I've showed you guys this in probably majority of my videos. I like to squish my berry and then kind of just like move my way up to the leaves and make sure that it's 110 percent dry because you do not want to work with wet berries at all you guys it cannot even be one percent wet because it will ruin your chocolate okay but can we appreciate and admire these berries oh my god they are fatties y'all they is thick i love these berries i have been loving the berries lately and they're just amazing like late actually you know what let me take that back because the last couple of days in recent life right now i have not been able to find berries but looking back on this video when i first made my mother's day sample oh my goodness i was living my best berry life y'all not even playing so since this is a sample i went ahead and just did almond bark you guys I originally just made this box for my YouTube, for you guys basically, but I ended up adding it to my menu and for my menu I do like to mix Ghirardelli into the almond bark because you guys, somebody really put me on on TikTok. Whoever that was needs a freaking shout out for real, I don't even remember who it was, but people kept telling me to try almond bark mixed with Ghirardelli and I love it. I've been using it ever since, like the taste is good, the consistency is A1, okay. But for today's video, we're only going to be using almond bark. And for this, I usually just pop this in the microwave for about a minute and a half. But I do take it out every 30 seconds to like mix it up a little bit and make sure that does not burn on me. I feel like this almond bark is so easy to work with and it is great for beginners. Even if you guys want to just make treats at home, you guys. This almond bark is really good, especially for kids. Like, you know, I, I know little kids love to make little strawberries or whatever. Like, get them the almond bark, y'all. Walmart need to sponsor your girl because I really be putting people on to the almond bark, okay? So for this order, I'm going to be using a little bit of white chocolate. And I'm going to just make really little bit, you guys, because I'm only using a little bit of pink and a little bit of green. I don't know if you guys noticed at the beginning, but I will be making three different patterns on this dozen. One of them will be a pink loop-de-loop. -loop. Y'all already know that's like my signature thing. And the next one is going to be like a little viney roses. You know, I love that pattern. Ever since I've done it, it's like, I'm obsessed, okay? So for the first four berries, I'm going to be working on that green viney one that I was telling you guys about. And so for a green, I usually like to lean towards more of the chocolate chameleon green. I don't know, it's just so much easier for me to work with. I've used like, I believe it was Forest from Color Mill. I really like that green. I just haven't bought it. I had just haven't bought it again. Oh my God, your girl cannot talk, you guys. Mind you guys, I am doing this voiceover at 8 a.m. And I do not be up this early. <laughs> I am definitely more of a night owl, you guys. But anyways, you guys, this green does not be messing with my chocolate because you guys know that there is some brands. I don't want to say it, okay? But I do be finding it on Amazon. <laughs> okay, anyways, you guys, it do be messing up your chocolate like that other brand that I'm talking about. But this one does not mess up your chocolate. Like, oh, it just like, still leaves it nice and smooth and I can work with it. You know what I'm saying? And I be doing a lot of designs on my berries. So I need a color that's still going to let me do that. So this brand and also Color Mail, I really request. Why am I talking like this, y'all? I really recommend you guys getting into this type of this type of food coloring. Ah! I can't talk. <laughs> A 
anyways, you guys, back to the berry. Basically, for this berry, I do just a bunch of different loop-de-loops everywhere. Like, you know, basically, there's really no, like, certain pattern. I'm just doing loop-de-loops and swirls everywhere, okay? Mind you, this whole box is milk chocolate, so all of the berries that I'm dipping today is gonna be milk chocolate, okay? I also did this box in white chocolate the other day, and you guys, it was so freaking cute. I decided to keep my Mother's Day boxes very, very simple this year, easy. I really didn't even take that many orders due to, like, just some family things I'm going through. So, honestly, I actually regret posting a sale, you guys, uh, but... I'm gonna do it, you know. I like to come through for my customers. So, I don't know why, but for holidays, especially Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, I like to gravitate towards one topping, and that topping is usually almonds. I don't know what it is, but I always feel like moms love almonds. <laughs> so, let me know what's up. Like, do if you're a mom, do y'all like almonds or do you guys prefer something else? Because I usually just do almonds, but this year I did end up having the option of either almonds or Oreos because personally me, I fuck with Oreos more, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. I usually like to purchase the sliced almonds already. I don't like to buy the whole ones and then, you know, like break them up myself. Like that is too much work. And honestly, I don't ever like how it ends up looking. I prefer to get the sliced ones and then crumple them up like this. And I think it looks better. I don't know, let me know you guys cause I think they cute. I also like to go ahead and put all of my crumbs up into one side of the bowl and then I roll my berry in it. I feel like it makes the topping look a little bit neater and like I have more of a control. I don't know, maybe it's in my head y'all, but I feel like my berries look cute. Like let me know what's up if you guys have a different method. Oh my gosh, almond berries always look so freaking good to me. Oh my god. So you guys already know when it comes down to toppings, I love, love, love to drizzle them. So usually like my almond, fruity pebbles, um, every here and there I'll do the peanut one too. I love to drizzle toppings like that. Like the super thick ones, I guess. Not like super fine like Oreo or red velvet. I won't drizzle those, but I will drizzle the almond ones for sure. They're just too bomb. Like, look, look, look. Oh, you guys. I love drizzling the toppings. I don't know what it is. They just be looking so freaking bomb. Like, a bombastic AF. Like, look at that. Okay. Okay. She said she got that drizzle movement. Okay. So, I just want to show you guys again how good these look drizzled. I don't know. I think they make them. I feel like the drizzle makes it look way better. Um, yeah, y'all need to start drizzling your freaking toppings. Well, at least like almond or like, um, what is it called? The fruity pebble ones. It takes it up a notch, you guys. Like when they're not drizzled, it's like, eh, I'm gonna give them an eight. But when they're drizzled, they're a 10, baby. And for our last design, you guys already know. If y'all been here for a while, y'all know what is coming up next. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys two seconds to guess. Put it down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think that last design about to be. I'll wait. Okay. Well, if you guessed a loop-de-loop -loop swirly swirl from Margarita, well, oh yeah, you guys don't even know my real name. My, name, my real name is Margarita. But anyways, off topic, y'all already know I'm about to do my loop-de-loop. -loop. Yes, and we're adding it pink because... My dozen needed a little bit extra more color and extra more brightness, okay? So I ended up um, making the swirls milk chocolate with pink. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I'm also using my favorite pink from Color Mail and it's the color Candy. I love this pink ever since I tried it out. It is my favorite pink ever. I do not switch up on it, y'all. I have been committed to the color Candy from Color Mail. So I've gotten a lot of questions about how I do this design perfectly and honestly you guys it is a lot of practice. Like when I first started this design I'm gonna have to insert some pictures. <laughs> this was horrible for me. Like you guys I could not control it but honestly I feel like the more practice the better. I really recommend grabbing a spoon or even parchment paper and just doing this world all over again. 
do it until your wrist is freaking tired you guys will get the hang of it it is not that hard but at first it is kind of hard i'm not gonna lie <laughs> So for my boxes, I use a 10 by 7 by 2.5, but I only recommend these boxes if you find big berries on a daily basis. If you don't, if you get like regular schmegular berries, um, I do recommend a 9 by 6 by 2.5. It's literally just an inch smaller from each side, but it's like way better for regular size berries and they're actually really, really cute. I do have them linked in my Amazon. Actually, you know what? Matter of fact, let me plug myself in right here, right now. Everything that I use for this video will be linked in my Amazon. You guys, if you guys haven't followed me on my Amazon, y'all better get on it because I really be putting you guys on, okay? Everything will be linked down in the description down below. And don't sleep on it, y'all. I got you, okay? I also forgot to film when I was making the roses, but I will also have that silicone mold down in my description and i'm gonna show it right here matter of fact i'm gonna show you the one i use yeah that's the only thing that i forgot to record for this video but i went ahead and you know made the molds or whatever put them in the fridge for like two to five minutes and then i took them out and this is how i usually put them you guys i do it right before i put them in the box to package it up and all that and yeah don't forget this because it's the most important step don't forget the roses okay okay You guys, let me know what you guys are doing for Mother's Day. Like, I'm trying to see what's up. Like, what are you guys doing? Are you guys even having a Mother's Day sale? Are you a mom? <laughs> Not us playing 21 questions. <laughs> no, but for real. I want to know, like, what's up? Y'all need to start talking to me. Like, I'm trying to know you guys. Um, You guys, also let me know if you guys actually like almonds or if it's just in my freaking head about moms and almonds. I don't know what it is. I think it's because... My mom personally loves almonds, so I'm just kind of like, all moms love almonds. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just in my head, apparently. I need to get it together. But aren't these berries so cute? I don't know. They're, like, really simple, really easy to make, and they're just, like, perfect. I almost didn't want to do this for Mother's Day because I thought I, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to take a bunch of orders, and it's just going to be way too much for me that day. But actually, you guys, for Mexican Mother's Day, I ended up offering these as well. And it actually was really easy. It's probably because the actual mold I have for the roses is literally like, I think it has like 15 freaking roses on there. And it's kind of like, it just, it was just so easy. Like, I absolutely love this design. It's really easy, really pretty, and yummy. Come on now, don't play like, who doesn't like chocolate covered strawberries? Ah, uh, and if you don't, you're a hater <laughs> like don't don't come over here with the negative comments on my chocolate covered strawberries okay anyways you guys let me know if you really like this video and let me know what else you guys want me to make i've really been missing doing detailed berries so let me know any themes you would like me to recreate to make something like that you know what i'm saying let me know because your girl loves to be a little artistic girly or whatever but everything will be linked down in my description down below. Don't sleep on my description, y'all, because some of y'all be asking me the questions that could be answered in the description, okay? So if you guys end up recreating this box, please, please, please send it. Tag it to me. What? Like I said, I can't talk today, y'all. Y'all already know what's up. Tag me. Send it to me. Email it to me. I don't freaking know. Don't be greedy. I'm trying to see it, okay? But yeah, I really hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wait, before I forget, my friend Vicky made me that sign. Isn't that cute? Shout out to my girl Vicky because she really always coming through with the signs. All right. But for real this time, bye.